Hey guys, so I'm currently in the Scottish Borders and we've been here, this is our second day here um, but I just didn't really see an opportunity to vlog um, so I'm starting the vlog now because we're just checking into Gigi's Yard Snugs and it's amazing and I wanted to show you before I sort of mess the room up um, but yes, I don't know if you can see right behind me it's the sea and that's the view from the huge windows in my snug so I'll show you right now okay so these are the snugs and basically they're just self-contained um, little rooms um, and there's the sea as I mentioned there's my neighboring snug and they have these lovely um, outdoor chairs to sit on and there's my room for the night um, beautifully sort of Scottish themed and the lovely thing about the snugs is um, each one has a little name so mine is the Ben so let's go on inside and have a look there's my stuff <laughs> just closing it up there we go oh that's much warmer so as you come in there's just a little area for all your stuff which I really like actually so that um, you can kind of keep your room quite nice um, so as you step in let me get my shoes off You've got two chairs to sit and admire the view. Oh wow, look at that view. Oh, I'm never going to want to leave. <laughs> and then next to that you've got um, just a little sort of dressing table area and your TV's up there. These beautiful lamps and it is a very Scottish themed room. Um, they've got antler lamps tartan, stag, oh it's just the quality of this room is just amazing and then the other room is, I haven't been in here yet, is a bathroom look at this bathroom, oh it's lovely, they've just done it to a really nice standard I just realised that you guys can't actually see what I'm seeing um, just a really nice standard but for sure one of the nicest things about this room is just that view. So since I have this lovely light um, at GG Snugs, um, I thought I would just tell you what we've been up to for the past um, two days. So we met me, so, oh, sorry, let me just start again. Um, so there's six of us plus two people from Visit Scotland's um, office on this press trip. So two people from Scotland, two people who have come up from England, two people who have come over from Europe. And so me and John, who's, I will link his Instagram name here, we met um, Summer, who works at Visit Scotland, yesterday and we got a taxi over to Edinburgh Airport to meet the rest of the guys. And then from there we met Peter, our driver, and he picked us all up and we headed all the way down to the borders to Peebles and we had lunch at People's Hydro and also a little like sort of gin tasting down there and then from there we drove to Dumfries we drove to Dumfries and we checked into the I'm, I'm, I can't quite remember I can't quite say the name of the hotel but again I'll just put the name here um, which is perfectly fine. Yep, I think it's the biggest hotel in Dumfries. It's a family-run hotel. Um, it's it's perfectly lovely, clean, um, really nice for the night. And then we went to the Big Burn Supper Festival, where the headliner I think was Newton Faulkner, and there was just a lot of lovely local bands. Really enjoyed that. I might insert some videos. I forgot to film. Um, I filmed on my phone, so they might be vertical, but I'll insert them here.
the next day, which is today, we met, had something to eat at the hotel, and then headed off to... We went, I remember, we didn't, we didn't head too far. We stayed in Dumfries and we went to the JM Barry Centre, which is called Motbury. Um, so that's basically where... He, so JM Barry lived in Dumfries when he was little and um, he used to play at this ne um, nearby garden, which is sort of what Neverland is based on. So they, in, it was going to be demolished, I think, a few years ago. It was going to be demolished, and then they managed to thankfully save it and turn it into amazing, an amazing place, um, amazing Georgian house. It's been converted. Um, the garden is beautiful. Such an amazing place if you have kids, and even if you're an adult, to visit. And then from there, we went to... Um, Her, can, her, 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 oh, I can't. <laughs> Too many names I can't pronounce because they're not quite. So they're spelled differently from how they pronounce. So again, I'll put the, the name here. A castle, um, which was really beautiful too. I think I took some video. If Hopefully, I'll insert it. And then from there, we went to Kirkubri, which is spelled Kirkubrite, but says Kirkubri, apparently. Um, it's so cool, I can just watch people walking down to their snug. <laughs> um, which was my, so far of my of the trip, has been my highlight. It was just a really, really adorable little village or town. I think the town, because I saw a town hall. Um, just by the sort of seaside, and it's an artist village. Um, so like, Scotland's art village. Again, I'll put it here. It's been a whirlwind of um, two days, so I'm not quite, um, yeah, not quite all with it. And then... From there, we've come to Gigi Snugs, so I've caught you up with what we've been up to. So hopefully from now on, you're going to be sort of with me on my <laughs> on my, my journeys. So yeah, I'm going to go and take some photos. I will see you all soon.
this is our last day in the Scottish Borders and we've spent a night at Abbotsford House. Well, not actually Abbotsford House. The Scott Hope, the Scott Hope, Scott Hope Wing next to Abbotsford House, which is um, Sir Walter Scott, the famous Scottish writer's house. Um, but yes, it is such an incredible place to stay. Perhaps slightly eerie because you're kind of in quite a big old house. There's no, there's like a sort of a, a self-catered apartment, so it's just whoever you come with that's here. Um, but it's beautiful and I wanted to give you a quick tour before we have to leave. Okay, so it's not the best lighting as it's still quite early, but as you come in the front door, um, this is the, I guess like foyer maybe? Um, this is just where you pick up your keys from here and stuff. So anyway, let's head on through to explore the rest of the house. Um, here's um, just a, a beautiful hallway, but there's so many um, pictures and paintings and they're all from the, <clears throat> well I think most of them are from the um, Sir Walter Scott's family. Um, yeah. Okay, continuing on. So on the right, if I'm not wrong, we have the sort of drawing room, I guess. I think it's called a drawing room. Um, I do apologise, it's not a bit brighter, um, but the sun hasn't quite risen properly yet. Um, there's a fireplace and lots of like um, materials to make, um, to start a fire, so if you wanted to, that's what you can do. There's a little peek out into the gardens, and that's um, Abbotsford House, so that is actually Sir Walter Scott's house, and it's a museum, and it's open for some of the year. That's the beautiful gardens. Got a piano. Okay, so let's head on to the next room, because there are so many rooms in this house, I think I'll probably get lost. I don't. Wait, I think this is maybe another little drawing room sort of area. Lovely. Very cosy, I think, this one at night. Okay, let's continue on. I can't quite remember what's in this room. Let's have a look. Okay, this leads to... <laughs> this leads to the staircase where the rooms are. Well, some of the rooms anyway. And... Another painting. Um... I don't think that door is open to the public, and I don't quite remember what's downstairs, but <laughs> right, let's have a look in here. Okay. Um, this is just um, a dining room. Um, apparently, quite a lot of um, sort of families rent this um, this house for sort of special occasions, birthdays. Um, Maybe sort of small weddings, I'm not sure. Um, but that's where they could eat. And that's just a, a tiny kitchen there that we missed. And then from here we have two bedrooms. So one is here and one is up this staircase. And I can't show them to you because um, that's not where... <laughs> that's not my room. That's where someone else slept last night. That's part of our press trip. So I think if we head down here, if I'm not wrong, it leads to the kitchen. Or maybe not. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. There's a little courtyard which you can go out into, um, which looks beautiful. Especially in summer, it would be amazing. Um, <laughs> I can't quite remember. Um, I, I don't know where this is. We're just exploring together, guys. I don't, I'm not too sure. Oh, here's the kitchen. Okay. So this is the kitchen. Isn't it amazing? I love those um, blue cabinets. And what's really nice is when you arrive, they give you cake. Um, we've already eaten most of it. <laughs> cake and cupcakes, which is just a, such a nice little touch. Um, and then I think if we head through here, we might have 
some more rooms or I think um, but that's just one more look at the kitchen before we head off it's really beautiful and I do apologize again about this lighting because it's it is not the best <laughs> okay let's go through here okay so this is just another little corridor and the cool thing about this is there's actually they've discovered a well I think when they were refurbing it so um, yeah, they've just put a piece of glass over it so you can actually walk on it and just to keep it there. Okay. Oh, I'll even have a dog bed. That's really sweet. <clears throat> um, I can't remember what's in here. Let's have a look. Oh, that's locked. <laughs> I think this is... Oh, I think this. they said that this is sort of the room if you wanted to... If you wanted to go for a walk, come back and clean up and for your dog and stuff, I think that's what they said. I think that's the door to go out into the courtyard as well. Okay, moving on. So up these stairs. Another peek out into the courtyard. It's just so pretty. Okay, so this leads us back, interestingly. <laughs> this leads us back to the front door. So I'll just quickly show you. So this is where we started our tour. So that's us back to the beginning. But if we go up these stairs, um, you can also get to the, those rooms if you were to go up the stairs that we, we saw earlier as well. You come to this door. Go through it. Okay, so if we go in here, we have a Jack and Jill style bathroom. Um, another little view out the window. Back into the courtyard. And then if, no, we can't go through here because this is someone's bedroom. Um, but yeah, there's another bedroom in there too. finally found the light switch and the fan has come on but um, in this bathroom there's an amazing I don't quite remember what you call these sort of baths freestanding maybe um, and then a little fireplace and of course another view out into I think a different court no same courtyard no same courtyard <laughs> Okay, so this is where I spent the night. This was my room. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever slept in a four-poster bed. Um, and it was extremely comfortable, actually. I thought I might have felt a little bit claustrophobic, but it was actually really enjoyable. Um, but let's just have a little quick look at this room. Isn't it incredible? I love how many books there are about the place. And there are little chairs by the window to sit in. And another little fireplace. <laughs> Yeah, I loved these chairs as well. I thought they were really interesting. But yeah, this is where I spent the night. And this is called the Hope Scott Room, I think. Hope Scott Room. This is the staircase that we saw from the bottom and then if you come through here there's like a little kitchen area another little chair by the window which is really nice nice view uh, I don't know if I can find some lights <laughs> there we go um, that's someone else's room and I believe that's someone else's room so that's kind of let me just talk to you so that's kind of the grand tour of the Hope Scott wing of Abbotsford House. And then later on, I think I'm, I'm off the point, there you go. I think later on, well, in maybe like 20 minutes, oh, I have to go and take some photos of the house before we have to leave. We are going for a tour of the 
the grounds of Abbotsford and yeah I hopefully would bring you along there too but yeah it's been an incredible honour to stay here and I will also link all the details below if you did want to stay here because I think it is expensive, I mean it's quite a lot of money but it's for 16 people so if you divide it by 16 people it would, it's really quite reasonable to stay here I think. So I will link all of that down below in case anyone is interested in staying in this amazing house. Um, but yeah I wish I could show you all the bedrooms but I think I'm not sure if people have taken their stuff out or not um, so if they come back and I get the chance to I will have a quick film of their room but yes um, yeah so that's that really yeah we have an image actually of the sort of I mean, it doesn't exist now it's not near the university we're all cleared away about 1900 this is the sort of it. so he was born somewhere on a third floor the more prosperous you were the further yeah. up you could you could live because down here you know it was, yeah there's yeah. a set yeah mm -hmm. i mean people there's no sewage system you just yeah. out of the window so kind of down here was pretty nasty. Yeah. It wasn't all that good up there, but yeah. it was <laughs> So he was born in a place called College Wine. And the thing is that Edinburgh in 1771 was just nice. beginning to develop the new town. Because this is Princess Street. Yeah, that's Princess Street now. Mm -hmm. So he was born in the old town, which he called mm -hmm. his old romantic town, so romance very important. But the new town, the greatest Georgian planned city in the world, was just starting to be built. So that gives Scott a contrast, a contrast between the old romantic way and the new rational enlightenment way. So he could have, he'd have fit in two camps. And he'd have fit in another two camps, which was Edinburgh, the big city where everything was happening, and down here in the rural areas where it was all folklore and superstition. So he's got this kind of conflict of who, what's that person is he? Mm -hmm. Is he an enlightenment figure or a romantic figure? Is yeah. he a city dweller or a romantic figure? I don't know if you can see it guys, but there is a gargoyle up there that is in the shape of a pig and he is playing <laughs> the bagpipes.